How are you? Good. I put a light in for you. Yeah, sorry. I'm coming. Oh, are you not cold though? No, I'm not cold. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> you. No, I don't want you here. Hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. Wow. Hi. I think I am going to lose daylight, but that's okay. We'll speed run the shit out of this. Hello everyone and welcome back to the final vlog, vlog 8. <laughs> The one thing I found the most successful would obviously be my introduction. I actually had a really hard time thinking of a concept that was original, especially after watching all the examples in the workshop. I was really like, like shit, like how do I actually do an introduction that was authentic and true and mine and really introduced Nonna as a person and who she was, what she was like. So when I finally finalized my introduction, like going into it shooting, it, I was like, I'm just shooting random clips. Like I have no idea what I'm going to do, but finalizing it and editing it, I was like, damn, like this really came together nicely. And I was really proud of how it came together. The Italian song that's played in the background, Nona actually recognized. Um, so that was really special. And I was like, oh, stop it. Um, so yeah, I was just, I was really, really happy with how it all came together. And of course I had nothing in my mind, so I couldn't even imagine what it was going to look like. So when I finalized it, I was like, like, this is really cool. Something I found problematic would obviously be the language barrier. Um, Nonna's first language is obviously um, Italian. Um, so she's not entirely fluent in English. She speaks generally well for someone whose first language isn't English. Um, and I did ask her, um, going into it, you know, do you want to do the interview in Italian? Like I can get dad to translate. And she's like, no, no, like, I really want to do it in English for you, um, to help you. And I was like, okay. So it was good to know that she was really comfortable doing it with, in English, which made my job a little bit easier. So I didn't have to translate everything. And of course I had my dad with me who helped ask the questions in Italian. So I asked the questions in English just for the video. And then he would ask her the questions in Italian, just because sometimes she has a little bit of trouble understanding English. Um, and then she would actually answer the questions in English back to me. Um, it was really good having dad there because obviously he's bilingual and fluent in both. So he could just help her if she got a little bit stuck or a little bit confused. Um, and of course, we did discuss all the questions beforehand. So she had a little bit of an idea of what to say. And we kind of guided her in that. A lesson I learned in the production process was that Nonna felt more comfortable being in her own home. And I made sure that, you know, she was sitting in a comfortable spot in her favorite chair that she always sits in by her being comfortable and relaxed and not being in a public setting she was able to be more authentic with her answers and i was able to capture a more raw emotion and it was more just like of a you know an informal conversation rather than a formal interrogation and interview um and sometimes public settings can be quite overstimulating and so it was really important for Nonna that she was just focusing on the task at hand and we were feeding her the questions and weren't really distracted by everything around her. A discovery that I made um, throughout my production process would definitely be the placement of the objects and items within the frame. Um, from the reading, I took that the important factor here is the relationship between the foreground and the background and everything that's in the frame. Placing Nonna... I placed her centre of the frame I, and of course I was sitting a bit to the right of the camera so she wasn't directly looking into the camera, she was actually just looking at me um, and I placed her, you know, kind of with a blank canvas around her but I did have a few family photos in the background which were strategically placed because they were actual photos of all her children and all her grandchildren and I think the other ones were of her and her siblings. I think it was really important to have those photos in the background because it just added another level of emotion it, and it gave a more relaxed feel to the interview as the viewers like able to see that this is done in her home and you know these are her children and her grandchildren and her family and are people that are really really important to her. Say thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
We ready, Nana? Yeah. We're ready. Okay. Why you came in Australia? Because of money, you want to work. I come here in Australia, no, for me and for my family. Okay. My kids. Okay. Non lo rocco se l'hai detto all the time. No. Australia nice. I go to Australia, no for me, for my family. My brother-in-law calling me, come on, come on, come around. Come Australia, beautiful. It's beautiful when I come here in Australia. I see my sister Lom, Zia Rosina, Zia Antonio. Me, 15 anni, me never think of me coming to Australia. Work, work from, from Haiti, and go in, you know, Denzi, and uh, never think, uh, me never think of coming to Australia. And when I marry, no, 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 I need to go to Australia, Australia, Australia. For a good, good life, for the family, for the good position, the family, and the great joy. No, 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 I was a, I have three kids, all married. Come and money, I work at home. I work at home. Yeah. Yeah.